He was in agony and he said to me, you know, I'm not going through the last throes of this. Um, I'm going to take my own life, which he did. And I feel, I felt so angry about that because he had to go off alone uh, and do it. Um, and it wasn't talked about then. At the age of just 60, as he struggled with illness, Susie's father took his own life. Now she has been diagnosed with an incurable bone marrow cancer. Her health remains good though, but she's campaigning to change assisted dying laws for when her condition worsens. At the moment, if people want to do that, they have to go to Switzerland, and that's very expensive. So it's a matter of just having, being able to die in peace and dignity, surrounded by my family, which is what I would like to do. For a decade and a half, Britain's biggest doctors' union has opposed assisted dying. Today, the British Medical Association moved to a neutral position. It's ahead of a discussion in Parliament about the possibility of a change in the law. But the BMA stresses their position doesn't mean they're supporting that either. The BMA's change of position will filter into those debates, but I don't think will necessarily um, have a major impact in changing the views of individual parliamentarians. As we've seen over the years, it is the most divisive of debates. Those who oppose assisted dying fear the most vulnerable could feel pressurised into ending their lives. Those in favour say a law change would bring choice over the most painful of decisions. We've still got a long way to go, but it is fantastic news. It's, it's such a big step forward for, for us who are campaigning. Yeah, very much so. Previous attempts to change the law on assisted dying have failed. Today's change of position by doctors may make some in Parliament think again. Julian Drucker, Five News.